that's what they that's kind of what they've done i mean um obviously the uh like the louis ck situation i know that is so people are so divided on that one and my opinion is if if he didn't do anything um make anyone do anything against their will he's just a guy that has a strange proclivity to, you yes. know he likes jerking off in front of people apparently the cat's out of the bag there yeah but like it, it, were those girls that upset 20 years ago were they that upset 20 years ago that that now it's an issue or were they giggling were they let like i need to know how they were then because i don't give a fuck what you think now like at the time what, was it okay? Was it cool with you? Did you sit there and fucking rib, elbow to the ribs with your girlfriend and go, look at this guy jerking off in front of us? Uh, it, it, to me, I don't care what what time is done because it, the, 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 the way something looks, the morality or ethics or respect that is expected in 2018 ain't what it was 20 years ago. Right. So you can't be held liable for something you did 20 years ago when it was normal or a little strange or whatever the fuck it was. Well, I think it's always been weird to beat off in front of people. That's an odd thing to do. <laughs> the thing, the thing about it is, though, he asked if he could. Right. And this is something that I've, I've brought up to people. I go, you know, and people say, oh, you know, he would lock these women in a room and beat off to them. Nah. I go, stop. Okay, if you're going to, if you're going to, like, push this. You're, you're saying that because that fits your narrative, uh -huh. that he's this abusive person who's abusing his power. Now, here's another problem with that. When this was all going down, he wasn't very famous. No, that's just it, too. So what power was he abusing? Yeah, he, he was a successful comedian. He was admired by his peers because he was really funny. Yeah. But he wasn't Louis C.K., like the superstar filling out Madison Square Garden Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't the same guy. You know, he, he didn't even have all the HBO specials and all the Netflix specials. He yeah, wasn't yeah. the same guy. So he was just another comic that liked to beat off in front of people, and he would ask first. So right. when you say that he, you know, forced these women and wouldn't let them leave, none of them say that. In fact, mm -hmm. he asked, and when they said no, he didn't do it. He didn't say, oh, well, good. You don't want me to beat off? That'll make it feel even better when I beat off <laughs> yeah. in front of you. Shut the fuck up and sit down. <laughs> yeah. No, he wasn't doing that. No, no. no. He was asking, which yeah. is... Which is so strange. It's but a weird thing. It's not. It's it's not in the same realm as as Harvey Weinstein. It's or not even fucking. Close. Uh, no, it's not even close. It's not even close. But people don't want you to rationalize. No. They don't want you to grade things. They just want to talk about abuse. All abuse gets shoveled into this one little pie chart right. area. Like this is male abusers. Yeah. And then they'll put Matt Lauer right next to Bill Cosby, right next to Louis C.K. Like, well. This seems kind of crazy. And then when you say it's crazy, like Matt Damon said, let's, uh, I think we should make a distinction. They went, ah, oh, get yeah. him off the movie. You can't be an ocean oh. zay. <laughs> no. no! You're, you become right? a rape apologist yeah, if you, uh, exactly. you say things like that. And uh, it, it's weird.